I hope you like board meetings because we've got another one today to try and save our job in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 6 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem series here on FM20. And yet, big episode today guys. We've got a board meeting to try and save our job. And if we survive that, we've got a game against Geisley, who are exactly one position below us. So it is a game we really, really do need to be winning. And just before we do get into that board meeting, I'll just show you the results we've had since the disastrous game against Boston in the last episode. And to be honest, since that episode, we've not been terrible. We've not been amazing, but we've not been awful either. We beat Darlington 2-0 with goals from Jarvis and Payne in the second half. Fairly decent performance this. Never really looked like being challenged. And we eventually broke them down in the second half. And that was a very nice result. And then after that one, we had a 1-1 draw against Blythe Spartans. This is a game that I thought we was going to win. We took the lead in the first half and we played alright. We played decent. But once they equalised, it was always, always going to be a draw. Neither side really able to break the other down after that. And then this is the one that has got the board upset, I think. 3-2 defeat to Spennymoor Town. Jordan Cook, Regan Griffiths and Kobe Arthur with the goals for them. All five goals in the game come in within a 15-20 minute period there, you can see. In the second half, it was just a mad, mad period of play. Just every shot for that 20 minutes or so just seemed to hit the back of the net. And so, other than that, you can see we've not been on a great run. We've won one, two, three games in the last three months. So, you can understand the board not being happy. And so, you know what? I've put off doing this video long enough. Just because I didn't want to see what was going to happen. But let's get into it. Let's get into the meeting. And once again, people, pray for bad jokes. Please, hashtag pray for bad jokes. And Stephen Cleave, we're not happy with your current performance and are considering your position at the club. We would like to know why you think the team have performed so badly. So what do I say here? First job, don't really think that's going to help. I've been really unlucky with the amount of injuries. That's just not true. We've had a difficult run of games. Maybe that one. I think it looks worse than it is. We've played well, but the form table doesn't show that. Stick to the plan. I think we'll work out fine. That is my favourite option so far. I appreciate that things haven't been going exactly to plan, but our next few fixtures look more favourable. Possible. Looking at how hard our upcoming fixture li list is, a new manager would be in for a rude awakening. Nope, not saying that one. I'll hold my hands up and admit we've not been great, but if you grant me one more month in charge, I'm definitely not saying that. I want to try and see through to at least the end of the season. We've played really well, but a form table doesn't show that. That's what I'm going to say. Let me know in the comments what you would say. What you would say here. Let me know down in the comments what you would say. So, I think it looks worse than it is. Yes! Done it again! Bad joke survives again. We recognise that the form table doesn't always show how well a team is playing. So, we're prepared to keep... We're prepared to give you the benefit of the doubt. But we'll be keeping a close eye on things in a hope of improvement. Yes! I am the master of surviving these board meetings. So, indeed, we are going to be bringing you that Geisley game. That's in a week's time. So, I will see you back then. Hashtag bad jokes is Houdini. Yes. See you in a second. We're back, guys. And this is the team for today's game. We've got Oliver Byrne in goal. We've got Swain, Fryer, Smith and Jones as the back four. Richards in a defensive midfield role and a midfield three of Payne, Clunan and Jarvis. And then up top, we've got Michael Gass and the main man, Adam Marriott. Up top, 
we had a variation of this formation that worked well for us against Darlington in the game we won 2 0. Instead, in that game, we had a four, we had a four one three one one. So instead, we've gone with a two up top today, just because a win is very, very critical. So I do want to give us the best chance of getting that with the two strikers up top. And so I've just got to put a striker on the bench. Let's get Spyroids on the bench in place of yeah, in place of Joshua Webb. And then yep, yeah, everything else looks good there. That is the team for today's game. We have had some messages in the press about this possibly still being my last game if we lose. So, very, very big game still. We did beat Geisley in our previous game this season. So, that gives us a bit of hope. And now, let's go forward to the game. Geisley are going with a 4-1-2-3 wide with a defensive midfielder as well. So they're trying to exploit our wings. We're going to have to be careful down the sides because that is the one place where we are quite weak here, obviously. Swain and Jones are going to have to do a good job today. And that, let's get the old opposition instructions set. And that has been done. So now let's go to Assertive. And the media have been on your back for ages now. It's got a few of them motivated. I have faith. I have faith. And I have faith for faith for faith. Yeah, four of them are motivated. Let's hope that's enough. First highlight of the game. Four minutes in. And it's going to be a Geisley corner. Cantrill to whip it out. And the header has gone in. And Perkis has headed it wide. Oh, five minutes before half time. We've finally got another highlight. And it's them clearing the ball, but we get it back. Goes to Swain. Can he cross the ball in? No, he doesn't. He gives it away instead. And now it's Smith. Cantrill. Back to Digley. To Smith on the halfway line. It's Geisley on the canner. And they've played it wide to Solman. And he goes over the halfway line now to Nicholson. On our left-hand side. He plays it wide. Smith with it. He's got a man on the overlap. Perkis. Is he going to be able to cross it in? No, he's not. Goes to Smith. To Digley. He plays it in. And Nicholson picks it up on the left-hand side again. But Jones wins it back. And now Gas with it. What can Gas do? He can do whatever he does very slowly. Marriott is on. Marriott is on. And he's in space. And he's hit the bar. One-on-ones are broken. But apparently he was offside. I did not think he was there. I did not think he was offside at all. And that is half time. Just a one highlight apiece as we do go into the dressing rooms. Geisley have had nine shots, two are six, three on target, two are two. And they've had 58% of their possession. We need a goal in the second half. Hopefully, we can get the first goal and then just hold on for a very unlikely win. And so I'm going to go assertive again with the team talk. Uh, you've been unlucky? No reaction. These boys just don't listen to us, do they? That cannot be a very good sign. And now let's go in the team talk. And let's get into the second half and hopefully nick a win. Well, 20 minutes left to go in the game. There's been no other highlights. So, let's just see. What's the other formation we've got? 4-4-2. Four, four, Do we go for that and try and force it? Do we go for that and try and force it? Or, do we hold on to a draw, which we've more than likely got at the minute? What do we do? I think... Oh, I'm going to regret this. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I'm going 4-4-2. Four, four, this does not feel good, but... I think it's something that needs to be done. And so Henderson and Henderson and Brown are coming on. And hopefully they can nick us a winner here. As we're going to go positive. And we are going to go slightly more direct passing. And then just, then just do approach play for wherever really. Let's go overlap and see what that does. 20 minutes left to go. This feels like a mistake. 
13 minutes left in the game. Swain with the throw in for us. Goes to Marriott. Swain to Payne. Back to Swain. To Fryer. Back in our own half. We're keeping the ball nicely here. And now we have gone long. But to absolutely nobody. I think I've got to rethink the long balls. Gas just has not got the pace to get onto them, has he? And now Dewhurst with the ball goes long. And we win it back again. This is nicely done here. Jones to Jarvis. Goes long. And Marriott, he has got the pace to get onto these balls. He's in the box. But of course, it's a one-on-one. -on -one, so he passes it out of the pits. And so, 10 minutes left to go. Last sub of the game being made. Spyrides is coming on for Michael Gass. Hopefully, he might be able to do something to help keep my job at this point. Oh, this isn't good. Two minutes left of injury time. Geisley with a corner. We head it away. Goes to Smith. We have gone attacking, so that might have been the biggest mistake of all. A Steven shot goes wide. And we survive for the second. And I'll warn these highlights. Please stop. Come on, referee. Blow your whistle. And, yeah, he has. He has blown his whistle. Nil-nil draw. Blooming awful game to watch, if I'm going to be honest, wasn't it? Absolutely nothing happened. Geisley had 19 shots, 2 are 10. 6 on target, 2 are 3. And so, we're going to go... You are unlucky. Uh, everybody thought we'd get beaten today. Well done for proving them wrong. Try and get the morale up. And so, you know what, guys? This episode has not been that long. So, if I do keep my job, I'm going to bring you the Southport game in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. This is the team for today's game. We're changing it up a little bit. We're going with an attacking midfielder rather than a, rather than a defensive midfielder. We've got Byrne in goal, Swain, Fryer, Smith and Jones all keep their places from the last game. And then we've got Payne, Clunan and Jarvis still as the midfield three. And then we've got Sonny Carey making his debut for the club today behind Spyrides and Adam Marriott up top. Carey has come into the club or into the team, because he is an attacking midfielder. He was recommended by one of my staff members to be brought up from the under-23s. And if you have a look down the bottom here, he's played 36 games this season. He scored 14 goals and got 8 assists for the under-23s. So I think he's very, very much earned himself a shot in the main team. And you never know, could it be a debutant? who saves my job and at least keeps us going on the right track. We are the favourites for this game. I know Southport are two places below us, but our form has been bad, but their form has been even worse, apparently. So that's very nice to see. Hopefully, we can translate that favouritism into a victory. Southport are going with a cautious 4-4-1-1, little bit similar to our formation, but hopefully we're not going to cancel each other out like how we did in the earlier game. And so let's get into this. Please, we need a win. We need a win big, big time. I'm going to go. Great opportunity to show the critics, critics that they're wrong. Top couple of them are motivated. Keeper's happy. No other reaction. And the strikers are happy. That's always good to see. Let's go and kick off the game. Please, please, please get me a win. First highlight of the game, 30 seconds in. Payne with the ball goes out wide to Swain. Into Payne. And then Clunan in the middle of the park to Jarvis. He goes out wide. Diallo heads it away. And can we keep the ball? No, we can't. Goes back to Diallo in the yellow Southport shirt. He plays it short to Glynn. To Morgan. Glynn again with it. And now, is he going over the halfway line? Yes, he is. But Swain wins it back. Marriott. Marriott's chested it down. He's into the box. He suits and one-on-ones. One-on-ones are fucked. Oh, we've scored. Thank you for that awesome highlight, FM. Letting us see all the, all the build-up beforehand. But we have scored a goal. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Fryer with the ball off the goalie's kick. 
And then Spywise just gets it over the top. He hits it first time. Keeper does nothing. And we are 1-0 up. Come on. 28 minutes into the game now. Southport still have not had a shot yet. And now Mohamed with it. Goes forward to Glynn. He tries to go over the top and he does. Diallo has beaten Swain there. But Swain gives himself back in position. Diallo goes back to Glynn. We're pressuring him quite nicely here. Morgan, Diallo, he's got a little bit of space now, but he decides not to cross it. Clunan with the interception. Carey with it. And now Marriott with it. And now Marriott, can he get this over to a teammate? Come on, he needs someone to help him out here. He goes back to Swain, who goes inside to Clunan. And wide, and Jones is in space here. And can he cross it? Nope. He's going to go short to Jarvis. Goes again wide to Jones. Cross it. Nope. Jarvis plays it in. Spy Rides is in the box. His shot is blocked. Clunan with a long shot. And that's a very good save. No, it wasn't a save. Hit the post. I could have sworn that looked like the keeper saved it. 37 minutes gone. And now Clunan with the ball to Jones. It's all us at the minute. We are absolutely bossing this game. Which is very beautiful to see. Spy Rides with it. He crosses it, goes to Swain on the edge of the box. It's 2-0, 2-0 to the Linnets, 2-0 to the Kingsland boys, 2-0 to the Kingsland boys. And what was I worried about? Losing my job? Psh, who'd be that silly, eh? Nobody. I'm the greatest manager the world has ever seen, people. What a nice goal that was. That is half time people and what a first half of football that was for us. 10 shots to their 1, 5 on target to their 0 and 44% of the ball to their 56. So we've even let them have the ball more than us and we've still bossed them about. Now let's go into the team talk, let's tell the lads how very very happy I am. And they're all delighted, all gained confidence. This is brilliant. Can we get a couple more in the second half? Ten minutes gone in the second half. Marriott with a corner. Gets headed away. Goes to Smith. And is he going to play it back? He does. Goes to Kerry on his debut. And what a way to mark it that would have been. 59 minutes gone. Glynn with... Trying to get onto the ball, but he doesn't. And now it's Mohamed. He's going to get it in his own in his own area. Goes back to his keeper. And who again goes long. But this time we win it back again. We are winning every second ball today. Everything about this performance has been very nice so far. Swain into Payne to Clunan. And Carey with it. And now Marriott with a long shot. And oh! Highlights coming thick and fast in this game. As our keeper goes long, but a Southport man, Ogle, gets it back. Switches it to the other flank for Glynn. And now, can Glynn keep it in? No, he can't, but we only give it back to Mohamed. And now, he plays it again to the other flank. But our man, Jones, with the interception, very nicely done. Goes forward to Spy Rides. He goes long. Marriott's on side here, if he can get onto the ball. He has, and it's free. 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, yes, we are back people, what a very nice pass this was here from Spy Rides, him and Marriott, maybe could we get a partnership going out of them too, that would be very, very nice, 20 minutes left to go in the game, we're just making the one change, Richards coming on for Jarvis, Jarvis has had a 7.0 rating game, but everyone else around him is on even better than that. So hopefully, you never know, Richards might be able to improve upon that. 20 seconds left of normal time in this game. Clunan with the ball out wide, switches it to Swain. And can we maybe get a full fear? That would be very nice. Payne goes back to Swain, who goes into Carey, plays it to Marriott. To Carey, his long shot is blocked. Clunan, Payne, Clunan, Carey with a long shot. And yes, that's how you finish off a game, people. Your debutant getting a goal to finish up a 4-0 win. Kingsland are back. 
Yes, people. What a very nice move that was as well. Lots of ping-ponging little ticky-tacka passes about. That was gorgeous to see, people. And now referee is just about to blow his whistle. There it is. 4-0, 4-0, 4-0 to the Kingsley boys. We gave them Southport lads one hell of a beating, didn't we? Oh my gosh, yes. Let's get into the dressing room. Let's go passionate. I am so pleased with that performance. We're going to end the team talk there. We're going to end the game there. And oh, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. We'll just have a look at the league table see where we are now and then i'll do all the old all the old outro -y bits that result puts us 13th in the league joint on points with farsley who are in 12th and 12th is the minimum position we need to get this year to achieve our main club target so the future is looking good again i should be able to see it through to the end of the season now I would think. Let's just have a look at the club vision just before we go. They're saying they're disappointed because they want top half. But we're level on points with it. I'm sure if we finished where we are now, they wouldn't get rid of us. You would hope, wouldn't you? And so, guys, again, just before we go, let's see. What game are we going to come back for? We haven't got that many left. Maybe the last two of the season? Shall we say that? Yeah, if nothing goes wrong, I will be back with you for the last two games of the season against Hereford and Altrinham. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, I know I have, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content just like this one and for Pro Evo 20 content as well. Follow me on Twitter for all the news on the channel at Bad Jokes Gaming. Go and visit the Passion for FM Discord channel and the website where you can get a load of good downloadable stuff like short lists and tactics and all things like that. Go and check it out. The links will be down below as ever. And yep guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.